Sure, so Open Capital Advisors is based in Nairobi and we focus on supporting inclusive businesses directly with a type of intensive operational and strategic focus support. So the idea is often businesses don't have the abilities to scale and grow and also achieve investment readiness and we do that. We do it on the ground and we do it in nine countries in East and Southern Africa. Our model is a for-profit model, but we ourselves are what you might call an inclusive business. We defer a large portion of all of our fees for businesses that are seeking to become investment ready on the event itself. So instead of charging excessive advisory fees up front for the six to nine months of intensive work we're doing, we're deferring that, we're sharing risk, and we're only receiving compensation if we actually get them there. And to date, we've raised $43 million for our clients, most of, most of whom have been early stage businesses. Personally, I, I was at IFC before uh, coming to Nairobi and saw what was really the first trend in, in impact investors who, who were coming to East Africa and, and came alongside the acumen funds of the world, grassroots business funds and others. But over the past five years, we've seen that exponentially increase. So now, it, by our count, there are over 100 impact investors who are active in East Africa alone looking at inclusive businesses. Now, they take all sorts of different lenses, but that's the biggest change that we've seen in terms of a trend. I think the issue that, frankly, we came to address is the fact that investors can't deploy the capital they've raised. The issue being that businesses often aren't prepared enough to receive the funds. They don't know how to price their product, how to enter new markets, how to incentivize their staff. So while we're there to help do that, investors still are struggling to deploy funds. And I think a lot of emphasis will shift towards investors focusing more on pre-investment support, whether through organizations like ours or others or directly, to, to, to bridge that gap, to help the entrepreneurs get to the level where they can balance their financial and social objectives, achieve the type of growth that, that the capital needs to see. I think there's a lot that needs to be done, uh, some of which hasn't been done as well as it should be. I think investors' expectations uh, are still skewed from the business reality. Now that's not to say that investors have it wrong. They're trying to satisfy their limited partners, their own funders, but they're not matching the reality on the ground. Now again, this is from the East and Southern Africa perspective, but we see a big divergence between where businesses are and investors are. The other side of it is, is measuring impact. And this is a common theme, and frankly, I don't know the answer, but investors all take a different view on how to quantify and measure impact. And when one is assessing one social enterprise or inclusive business versus another, and one doesn't have a solid framework, it becomes very difficult to make an investment decision. And I think that's been a struggle for us as we work with inclusive businesses, is just trying to help the industry and work with players like Jin and others to just define a standard system to make that easier.